for today's vlog, we are doing a Q&A. We felt like we haven't done a Q&A in such a long time, and I'm sure you all have questions about the birth coming up and just general lifestyle questions. So, let's answer some. Yes, so we took your questions from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and we always love when you guys send us video questions because then we can see who you are and put it on the vlog. All right, so the first question is... Number one is, what are you expecting after having Juniper? Number two, why did you name your baby Juniper? And three is, what, what are some of your favorite movies and songs? Uh, number one, I have no idea because we've never had a kid. Number two, we did a name reveal video. It's right up there. It describes why we called her Juniper. Number three... Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Interstellar. Ooh, Interstellar is really good. Yeah, we have a lot of favorite movies. movies. <laughs> Next question is, will you be doing a birth vlog when June is born? Yes, we are going to be doing a birth vlog. Of course, if you, you guys. missed it, Corbin actually just packed his hospital bag, and it is full of technology. I yes. think there's like three things that are not technologically relevant. <laughs> technologically. <laughs> So yes, we are going to be doing a birth vlog, we're going to have multiple cameras, and um, you know, you never really know what's going to happen at birth, so obviously I don't know what it's going to end up being, but we, it's a very important day in our lives, so we are documenting it and we will be sharing it with you as well. Nyala Lover asks, how excited are you for baby Juniper? Let's, let's modify it, scale from 1 to 10, how ten. excited? 10, ten. obviously. I would say 11. <laughs> I'm more excited. <laughs> Kelly, she asked, are you scared about being a parent soon? Definitely. Yeah, sure, of course we are. I mean, we've never been parents and we are literally going to be in charge of a tiny person in order to make sure they survive and keep living. And that is very intense. I'm super excited. I'm beyond excited to be a parent, but we've never done this before. So we're very scared. Yeah, it's really cool, like having the ability to erase a human on our own and like we can instill in them the values that we have. Uh, so that's really exciting. And to just see Juniper experience everything for the first time is gonna be really exciting, but it is really nerve wracking because again, you are responsible for raising this child and I don't know, that's you scary. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you won't mess up that well. No, of course we'll mess up. Parents aren't perfect. Yeah, that's true. This next question is from Katherine Sanders. It's about Paris. She says, have you thought about getting Paris little shoes to keep his feet dry when it's raining or snowing? He has socks. I don't know if he would wear shoes though. He really has this whole thing with his feet. He doesn't like his feet being touched. He doesn't like them being wet. He just doesn't like anything on his feet or around his feet. Next question is from Ellie Lanning says, what is your favorite food and which real food do you want Juniper to eat first? My favorite food is peanut butter and jellies. <laughs> my current favorite food is frozen berries. Oh my But that's just gosh. a pregnancy thing, so. We're going through bags of frozen bags berries. Bags of frozen berries. I am obsessed. Like, I eat them all day, every day. I just bought four bags of frozen berries. They'll be gone in a week. Or days. That's how, that's how fast. For Juniper's for, for first Juniper. food, for some reason I keep thinking avocado. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, because we are, there's actually another question on here I saw that's, I don't remember who says it. Oh, here it is. Violet Glow says, once June's old enough, do you plan on doing baby lead weaning? And yes, yeah, we do. Definitely. Um, I think we'll do a combination of baby lead weaning with purees. So we want to do the real foods that are soft enough that she can do that she can eat on her own, but also maybe incorporate some purees yeah. too. Just seeing like how Finn, Finn Lanning did with baby, cause Missy did baby lead weeding with Finn and just seeing how Finn eats, it is crazy. Like he eats like just full on everything. Chips. It's awesome, I love it. Like everything. He just sticks it in his mouth and eats. And he's such a good eater. When I last went there for the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. he just was eating everything. He, he would literally go up to people's plates and just like grab the food and eat it. I, so I think we'll definitely do mostly baby led weaning, but I kind of want the experience 
of like feeding her too with the purees um, just because you kind of imagine doing that. Yeah. So I think we'll do I, a little bit of a combo. I just like the fact that it helps them to not choke because it teaches their yeah. gag reflexes on their tongue and so you don't have to worry as much about them choking. Because there were times when I was around Finn, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gonna choke, but he didn't. He knew how to handle it. That's awesome. Yeah. So I think avocado. Yeah. I think Avocados. that'll be her first. And she's gonna be Hispanic, so. Yeah, Corbin's half Hispanic, avocado. if you didn't know that. Angela Hill says, what is something you really hope will happen during your birth with June? Any birth plans? We do have a birth plan. Um, something special that I hope happens with her birth is, I feel like the birth alone is just gonna be special. I hope that I get to hold her. You get to hold her. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is after she's born, we're gonna put her on your chest and mm -hmm. she is gonna try to like breastfeed. Like you're gonna wait for her to see if she does it. Yeah, I'm gonna see if she initiates it first. Yeah. And then, so like I'm basically gonna be there, but I'm not gonna hold her till after like she has breastfed for the first time and could be like a couple hours, but we'll see. Something that I hope happens during the birth is, um, I think really just things that I, hope don't happen. <laughs> like, I know. I don't want there to be any interventions or um, any emergencies. Yeah. So that that's what Perfect I Perfect <laughs> birth would be like a natural vaginal birth. Yep. Next is from Morgan Miser and the question is how did you know Corbin was the one? So I've actually said this, I don't know if I've said it in a vlog before, but what I usually tell people is that when I first met Corbin, there was like this very distinct feeling when I looked into his eyes and it felt like I was safe, that I was home, that I had known him my whole life or in past lives or whatever. It just felt like there was this connection there that I had never experienced with anyone else. That so was... literally, it was at first sight that I felt like this, I did, wasn't like, oh, it's love at first sight, I'm gonna marry him. It was more like, this person is going to be a significant person in my life. And then that turned into Aww. that. That turned into this. <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> no, he didn't. Natalie Durst says, are you planning on doing another big trip? Yes. We are actually in the works of a couple big trips. I'm so including excited. June's first international trip. Stay tuned for those. We're going to like, we need to have June and like get used to having a kid in our life because it's such a huge lifestyle change. And then once we, like, as soon as we feel comfortable, we are going on a trip because mm -hmm. we haven't, I feel like. Yeah, we have to, you know, first see what her temperament is right. and like how easy it'll be to travel with her. And that deter kind of determines how, f where we go because of how far we think a plane ride she will be able to handle, so. I'm so excited though. Next question is from Marley. And the question is, what are your guesses about the date June will be born? Oh, we should do our prediction. I've already said my prediction. You already know my prediction. No, I don't. You don't? I'm going to write down my prediction on my hand and then hold it up to the camera so you can't look and you can't watch this part of the video. So I have my <laughs> prediction in my hand Close your eyes and when I'm editing the video, I'm going to skip by hers. So I'll give myself like a little note, but Can I this, look? no, so that that is my prediction for the birth. Don't look. I'm not looking. That's how far along I think she's gonna be once she gives birth. Or did you pick a date or? No, I said like the weeks and days. Oh, I'm picking a date. I think it looks weird on the camera. Okay. Okay, so those are our predictions. Hopefully you could read mine. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Sarah Z, and she asks, what do you plan on, how do you plan on getting to the hospital when in labor? Is it far away? So we've gotten a lot of questions about how we plan on getting to the hospital because we don't have a car. Uh, we have a couple game plans. <laughs> the first is my mom is planning to come early before my due date. Obviously Juniper could come before my mom gets here. Um, we don't know, but my mom is gonna come about a week early and then she'll have a car. So we'll have the car seat installed um, and she can take us to the hospital and take us home. Yeah. But if she's not here, the plan is to take a Lyft or an Uber or yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. A Lyft or an Uber. To the hospital. To the hospital. That'll be then. Awkward Lyft ride. I think that people 
forget that there are a lot of places where people don't have cars, like New York City, mm -hmm. and they obviously make it to the hospital mm -hmm. somehow. They take so taxis. So they take taxis or Ubers or Lyfts. Yeah. It's definitely doable, and I think it's a lot faster than taking your own car. Yeah, because now I don't have to find parking. I don't have to go get the car where it's parked out on the street somewhere. I just literally order it on my phone. We go there, go to the door. Don't worry about parking. So. so I'm not really that concerned about it actually. The only part that would be harder would be leaving the hospital mm -hmm. trying to install but, a car seat for the first time but we'll in have, like an Uber or a Lyft. But, by, but we'll but have family we'll here have family. by the time the baby's here. Yeah. So, so it'll good. be fine. We're good. We'll be fine We're guys. good guys. Don't worry. We're good. Don't worry about us. One more question. It's a very, very important question. Hard or soft tacos? Ready to go. Soft. I hate hard tacos. Well, okay, so I like real, I like real tacos, so yeah, soft tacos. Soft tacos. Soft tacos. And oh. that, that question was from Maeve the Queen. Thanks, Maeve. <laughs> Keeping it real. All right, that's it for our Q&A. Thumbs up if you liked today's video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that circle right next to our faces. Leave a comment below with any other questions you may have, and we'll try to answer them in the comment section. Also, if you happen to have any more questions about the birth, they might be answered in next week's Little Wanders video. Yes. Because that's going to be all about preparing for a natural birth, which is our goal. Yes. So don't forget to watch that next week, and be where you feet are. Bye. Bye.